I'm going to open up Enhance, Adjust Color, Adjust Hue Saturation. Now in this image we obviously have a subtle blend of colors, not just these single primary colors, but we have a blend of a range of reds and oranges, even on into yellows and browns. And what if we wanted to alter all of those colors? What if we wanted to push all of those colors over into a more natural green? Well, we'll start with choosing one of them. Let's go back to our master list, and we'll pick reds again. Now, if we look down at the bar here, you can see that as soon as I chose reds, this little widget kind of shows up between the two lines. The widget is divided into this dark gray area and these slightly lighter gray areas that are on either side. The interior, the dark gray part, represents the reds. This is what Photoshop Elements, by default, thinks is red in this image. And the gray areas represent a kind of transition zone between the pixels that are selected and the pixels that aren't. So if we want to select more orange and more yellow, what we want to do is we want to drag these areas out to the right. So let's do that. We'll pull the transition zone out until it almost reaches green. And we'll pull this gray zone out to make sure we include all of the oranges and on into a little bit of the yellows. This widens our selection territory up a bit. So now if we go up here and start adjusting the hue, we can take all of those colors into a range of greens. And you can see, if you look at the lower bar here, the colors that are being shifted in to replace our original source colors as referenced in the bar above. So we've shifted everything around into green. It's a little bit radioactive right now. This looks a little bit more like one of Homer Simpson's carbon rods. So we're going to take the saturation down a bit into a more natural green. And that's pretty good. We've converted an image that was very clearly an autumn image into an image that now could very easily pass for a summer snapshot.